Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a multiple sales tax code on the same invoice for the same customer. Okay, let's get started. Oh, this is for desktop, by the way. QuickBooks desktop. Okay, so I'm on uh, uh, invoice here, the one we're talking about. Normally, sales tax code is right here. And if you have a multiple tax rates, uh, you can't use this fill. So I'm going to show you how to uh, work around and use uh, different rates uh, by items. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, I'm on. Uh, th this is the item list. Item list. So normally you will have a tax rate, uh, different tax rates like this, and you may have a, a combined rate too, like sales tax group. But that's not going to work for you because it'd be just uh, one in here. Normally, you know, you would need more than one in here tax field. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the uh, item code field inside the invoice and use different rates. Okay. So the first one you want to do, you want to create sales tax at zero percent to use in here. So basically, it's a zero percent sales tax, zero percent, zero percent like this. And so that's the one we want to use in here say zero percent like this okay and then you want to create a subtotal uh, one subtotal if you already have it you can use that one but if you don't have it, you can create a new subtotal in here uh, subtotal is like it type is subtotal 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 pretty straightforward so uh, from item new subtotal right here and uh, subtotal subtotal straightforward okay so you need these two and then of course you'll have uh, different items with different uh, tax codes you want to use okay so in this case I, I have example in here uh, so 101 I'm going to use uh, sales tax 8% 102 I'm going to use 8% and 201 I'm going to use 9% sales tax and 202 I'm going to use uh, also 9% so normally you won't have uh, you know the sales tax like this you'll have different item codes but you need to know which one you're going to use uh, 8% which items you're going to use uh, you know uh, 9% let's normally you'll have something like item 101 product code something like that uh, okay so you got an idea all right so I'm going to create invoice now okay so I'm just going to create uh, one sales uh, invoice okay so item code I want to use let's say 101 okay and then you want to if you just have one item then you can use subtotal right there and then the sales tax you want to apply to this subtotal. So in this case, let's say I want to apply 8% sales tax, all right? Uh, okay. Uh, and then let's say I, I want to use another one, uh, let's say 201. And on this one, I want to apply 9% uh, sales tax. Okay, I want, to, I want to make this bigger. Okay, so right here, as you can see here, I'm going to create a subtotal subtotal here oh well this one uh, I'm going to delete this delete line okay I'm going to create subtotal and then charge the sales tax nine percent ninety dollars okay so if, if you have just one item that's fine if you have more than one item using eight percent you can just uh, keep on adding lines you know okay so now I want to use one more two in here as you can see here here you know uh, it's not eighty eight dollars uh, computed on subtotal okay so I'm going to use the same thing in here line item add inter line and in here item let's say two or two nine percent and still the same right here okay one ninety eight and nine percent on twenty two hundred and in here so it's basically uh, you have $88 at 8% and 9% uh, 198 at 9% okay so I'm gonna save this make sure this one is zero you shouldn't have anything in here uh, so we're just gonna leave this one blank that's the whole purpose uh, so this is the only workaround you have uh, in QuickBooks so you have to use the field here inside the field QuickBooks uh, line items okay so and the code is still tax so I'm gonna save and close okay uh, now I also want to run some reports two reports see 
uh, how it will come out you know the, the, pay, uh, the vendors payable sales tax liability you can do it from here too you know like this right okay so uh, vendors revenue okay so this is for mark this is for zoom uh, let's see here I'm just gonna use all okay all right right here uh, as you can see here you see four items uh, for one invoice the reason being it's in and out in here you have 3300 uh, out and 3300 in so basically it's was so this is the only drawback in here you know but altogether all, all the invoice uh, the sales amount is still the same you know uh, and let's look at the other one the tax liability one sales tax liability one right here okay so right here so 286 is your uh, tax collected and that's your sales tax payable and same thing in your total tax only well, it's only the difference is total sales you have uh, in and out 3300 in and 3300 out but the total sales is still accurate okay so that's how you know uh, you have to do the you know it's all work around and it works really good all right thank you for watching bye